Hey, what's going on, everybody? It is the Batman of Inglewood signing in. Yeah. So, check it out. Um, I so this is one of those batteries that you have, like in those little. Uh, oops, my bad. <coughs> in those uh, cheap little off-brand little GoPros, little no-name brand, and um. So I got one off of Amazon for about $25 or so. And uh, anyways, the the batteries that go in there, as you can see, the amp hour is bullshit, 900 milliamp hours. So, and that's what this little uh, cell is right here. So, what I did was I replaced it with the last 40 amp hour battery that I had from the Bat Bike. I know you guys remember that thing. So, turn that light on. Yep, 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 yep. So, um, I went on ahead and replaced this tiny little thing with something that's about 30 times that. Oh, well, 40 plus that. So, shouldn't have a problem with that uh, camera going out. So, well, going out anytime soon. Let me show you what it looks like. So here we go. So that's the camera that I have on the back of the pedicab that I built. If you want to watch those videos. And um, so on the back of my bat bike, I did the same thing. I built my own battery pack for it. And it's just wired up to that. So I'm going to go ahead and show you what I did. So I do have a previous video where I talked about this. How... Um, I'll provide a link for it if I can find it, but uh, the batteries that go in there, all you have to do is open it up, take all the guts out, and then go ahead and leave. I think it does have a little BMS on the inside of this little tiny little thing in there, but um, you go ahead and replace the cell with a bigger one. It's just that simple. So then when I stick this back into the camera, booyah, it will be running off this big mamma jamma instead of this so um check me out and as you know, all know my stuff is always messy yeah it's crazy up in here but I get stuff done I tell you so this is the wire that I'm going to be running from the battery all the way to the output which will go into here so that will go into here and the little trap door or whatnot I'm gonna have to put some holes in there so the wires can go through so anyways um just hold back I'll get back to you okay you guys I'm gonna try to hold this under my chin so you guys can see the voltage Mm-hmm. 4.151. So. Let me make sure. I don't know if y'all saw that. So I'm going to do it one more time. Okay, I can hold it with my... Okay. I can hold it with my hand now. Here we go. Yep, 4.1. Five, one. Okay. Stay tuned. So right here I have my old DC to DC converter that I was using for that um for the display. Well I had two different displays uh, if you guys refer back to those videos where I had that EDF the um those electric duct fans for drones when I used to have that on the other bike that I had the uh, the, uh, the enduro bikes anyways I have this mask over my face because I was soldering so if I sound kind of muffled let me take the thing off okay there we go so so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna install this too so I went on ahead and did the output for that so that's gonna go in here in fact, let me go ahead and show you. OK. 
okay here we go 4.89 volts coming from the battery so um, I can charge it through the uh, camera so the camera can be charging this big battery so <clears throat> so what I'm going to be using this for is in the pedicab I can have uh, you know those plugs that have a multiple outputs like this one right here um, has multiple outputs so if you want to charge your phone or something like that you can do so but anyhow um, what's cool about this is I can you know use these potentiometers one for the voltage one for the amperage to change the potential of this thing for output and stuff like that for other stuff if I wanted to so it's pretty cool to have a little DC to DC converter or DC to AC or AC to DC it all depends on the application okay here I go holding this with my chin again moment of truth That's it, I can go ahead and close this out. <laughs> so this is where I'm at right now. So I'm sandwiching that cell in between some polystyrene. Then I'm gonna put some um Chloroplast on the side. I'm gonna put some other stuff on the top later on, but for right now, this is what we do. So what I'm gonna be doing is using uh, the side that has an on and off switch for the uh, DC converter. And this one is just a standalone. And um, standalone would be used for, um, you know, for charging and stuff like that, and to connect to the camera. All right, almost done. <laughs> Got this looking like a little cool little space age little thing. I don't know. It's just a simple little five volt, well, four point two volt. Um, battery pack, so 40 amp hour though, so that's pretty large, including uh, DC to DC converter. I'm gonna have that up there. So, oh yeah. Okay, so change of plans. Um, as, as you can see, this thing's all beat up and stuff like that. So. Had it for many years and then dropped it too many times. And I just dropped it earlier on accident. And um, it's just not working properly anymore. So, anyways, luckily I have this right here. So, what I'm going to do is take one of the wires that will come off, you know, like I was saying earlier, for uh, charging the phone. And I'll just cut the, I'll cut the, uh, the piece that would go into the wall or whatnot or the adapter this little thing so again the battery will be getting charged from the um, the camera anyway so um, I'm gonna be you know not needing this so the part that will go into here 
the uh, male in. Um, I'm going to be again chopping this off and then taking the negative and positive and hooking it up. This is the negative side for the output, the other side is the positive. So, okay, stay tuned. Okay, so far is what I got. Now it's putting out 3.1 volts, 3.4, 4.0. So, yeah. Okay, everybody. So, I am um, charging up right now. Everything is done. So, let me open up this truck. Oh, there we go. So this is what powers the, um, what do you call it? The advertising marquee up there. And this is what powers the camera. And of course, uh, the DC, DC converter right here, um, I'm going to be using that to charge um uh, phones and stuff like that so but i just gotta do the output for it but i'm not gonna worry about it right now i just wanted to uh, make sure i have something to keep this thing powered so i don't have to change in between those little tiny little batteries so so yep there we go set it at the right voltage 4.4 doesn't really need to be at five volts you know and um, that's it. So it's charging. Let it charge overnight. It's a 40 amp hour battery. The charger is a one amp charger. But when you run a, a amp a clamp meter on there or an amp meter, um, it will say like 0 0.8, 0 0.7, or some crap like that. So if I kill the whole battery, yeah, it'll take about 45, 50 hours to charge it. So uh, I gotta get a faster charger for that. Uh, 4.2 uh, volt battery so anyways alrighty